Good morning. morning from La Fortuna. We are starting our day bright and early at 6 a.m. to enjoy some hot springs that are created by the nearby Adenau volcano. These are the only free hot springs in the area. All the others are owned by the hotels and you have to pay money for them. We've just parked up on the side of the road and my understanding is that there can be some scamming that goes on, but fortunately we haven't had to pay to park on the side of the road because it's so early probably, but I am a little bit nervous about leaving our car, but I'm also excited about taking a dip in the hot springs. That's crack off. later we are back in the car that was absolutely lovely but it wasn't quite how we anticipated we got there super early thinking that we would be probably the only ones there but it turns out that by the time that we were there there were a group of about 11 or so locals who had also decided to do exactly the same thing so that whole exclusive experience that we were expecting ended up being us with 11 of our closest friends, which wasn't quite how we designed it, but it was still a really cool experience all the same. And because of how many people were there, we really didn't feel comfortable filming so much. We just didn't want to encroach on their privacy, especially when you're at a hot springs where you're not really fully covered. You're in bathing suits and there's a lot exposed. Mm -hmm. But it was interesting, the temperature of the water, because I think I was expecting the water to be a lot warmer, like the same as you would find in a hot tub. But it was actually like lukewarm to just over lukewarm, I would say, which was really nice because it meant that you could stay in for a long time without starting to sweat and feel uncomfortable. So the temperature of the water, I thought, was really relaxing, actually. Yeah, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold, you just felt like you could stay in there pretty much forever and not be that bothered by it. So, yeah, it was great. But in all honesty, the vibe was a little bit strange because I think the locals who were there were maybe like doing drugs and drinking. So it was a little bit uncomfortable, but it was still nice. And I have to be honest, I was a little bit worried about the safety of our car on the side of the road the entire time but nothing happened to it so my no. fear has been alleviated and we didn't even have to pay because we came so early not that you should have to pay if you come later it's just that as i said apparently sometimes people do ask you to pay and they're like oh we look after your car but it's free parking on the side of the road so just kind of you know some things to be aware of now we've got about an hour between here and when the park opens so we are gonna go and grab us a coffee to pass some time after having paid 15 us dollars per person we are now here at Adenal volcan national park in terms of what we're going to be doing then we're going to try and do any kind of combination of these three trails here if we feel like we have a little bit of extra time and energy then we'll probably try and do this one as well trail that we started on which is the yellow trail number four and this is the view behind us a couple of facts about Adenal, which is just behind us it's actually a very young volcano it's only about seven and a half thousand years old and that actually makes it the youngest in the whole of costa rica while it is the youngest in the country 
it was actually the most active volcano in Costa Rica and one of the most active ones in the world. There were a spree of eruptions between 1968 and 2010 when it last erupted. The plan now is to walk back down to the parking lot and then I think we're going to try and drive around to see if we can get a better view. about an hour and 50 minutes to walk all along this yellow track up here to the lava field back here and then around this red loop and back to here and now we're going to try driving to this lookout. Here we are at the end of the sixth trail which provides one of the best views that you're going to get of the Arenal volcano behind me. Just to drop you a couple of facts this cone-shaped volcano actually has not one, but two craters. The first one is at a height of 1,633 meters, so just over a mile high. But the highest crater, which has a diameter of 140 meters, stands at 1,755 meters instead. kind of wraps up our time at this national park honestly it's been really nice the scenery has been lovely and obviously it's always great to get wrapped up in nature but i think really this is more of an opportunity to just do nice rainforest walks and get a view of the volcanoes in terms of the wildlife we didn't really see a lot that we haven't already and there's not really a lot of opportunities to spot kind of the more popular wildlife of Costa Rica. There were no sloths, no monkeys, and it was kind of hard to spot birds because the vegetation was so thick in there. So as far as the type of trail that you want, then definitely this is far more about the landscape than it is about nature spotting. So just bear that in mind before you decide to come here. Yeah, it's a very easy walk because the trail is definitely mostly flat and it's beautiful to walk through the tropical rainforest, but I will echo what Nick said. We didn't see any big ticket animals. I do think we saw new animals though, because we saw two different types of birds that we had never seen before, as well as a really colorful lizard that was cute. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, I preferred the hikes we did in Monteverde and Manuel Antonio, because I was more interested in the animals we saw there, but it's been nice to see the volcano I kind of controversially think you get a better view of it from the town of La Fortuna than in here. That said though, I think it's only because of the cloud cover that it's not as good a view. If there were no clouds in sight, then it would be absolutely incredible to see. But yeah, we just haven't quite lucked out with the weather in the same way, I don't think. All the same, because it was only 15 US dollars per person, it's not a huge deal. Whereas if it had been more, I may have been a little bit more annoyed, but it was nice overall. I yeah. enjoyed it. Still a lovely way to spend a morning. Yeah, we ended up spending almost three hours here, so it was a decent amount of time. We're just walking back to the parking lot now, and we're going to head back to the guest house, but we don't have much else planned for today. So we're going to wrap this one up here. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling.